Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today I'm very excited and if you're here, you're here for a reason. This is the vertical flight of Santo Fino Tequila. Yes, if you've been following the channel uh, however long, I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, but if you're here specifically for Santo Fino Tequila, the month of Santo, then you've been waiting for this. Yes, I just reviewed the Añejo that released today. And now alongside that video, I'm releasing the vertical flight. Two separate videos. This is now into week three of five because I just released Yanyejo today. Week two of five was the Reposado. Week one, starting off the kickoff of the Santa with the Blanco. And we got two weeks left. We got to do the high proof Blanco, a 110, and then Mesquila. What's Mesquila? Go follow us on Instagram, Agave Talk. Go check that out. I got that post, all right? But today, I released two videos. I released the Añejo Review, simple review by itself, just the star of the show. Go check that out. And then in that video, I said, hey, come on over to this one, and we are now doing that vertical flight. If you're here just by clicking through, and this is the first that you've seen of any of the month of Santo watch those videos stick around also then for the next two weeks but this is a standalone video of the vertical flight from the blanco reposado and añejo so what i'm going to do is not get too much into the branding itself because each one of those videos i really go in depth about the brand about the history about each bottle you know the aromas the taste um so go watch those videos i'm not doing that today really this is going to be a pretty short video quick video just pouring all these out doing that vertical flight and me giving you my thoughts all right santo fino what i can tell you it is a celebrity tequila sammy hagar legendary rock star celebrity chef guy fieri this is their brand and what's really cool about this is actually using some pretty solid techniques um, some production methods and coming out of nom1107 and every single one of these is additive free this Añejo solid, the Blanco solid. You guys know, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Reposados, but this is good too. So I am going to put them head to head. I got three of my glasses right here, and I'm just going to pour all these out. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to use a little bit of movie magic. I'll be right back, all right? All right, everybody. So I got it all poured out. I'm really excited for this because I have. I've been enjoying Santo Tequila. The whole month of Santo, this is week three of five special edition video, the vertical flight. And I have to say, I did enjoy the Blanco, the Reposado, and it definitely the Añejo. Um, a little bit of bias for sure. Blancos are my favorite. And of course, extra Añejos. Añejos up there as well. But this is, man, I'm, I'm happy to finally have it head to head. And gonna give you that give you that battle per se, right? Um, what's really cool about the world of tequila in and connecting to spirits is tequila, you can do this vertical flight. So going from the bottom to the top. And I say that and we call it a vertical flight because imagine like the reposado, the blanco, the reposado, and then Yanejo, the right? Like you're going up. You start with the blanco. You go to the Reposado, and then you finish with that Añejo. What does that even mean, though? Well, I say that because it is due to aging. So what this Añejo is, is this Blanco. They've just aged this Blanco for 24 months in used American oak barrels, right? What this Reposado is, it is this Blanco. It's just been aged in barrels, used American oak barrels, for about four to five months. What this Añejo is, is this Reposado, it's just been aged for longer. So this has been aged for about four to five months. This has been aged for 24 months, two years, and this has no aging, right? So what's in this bottle is what's in this bottle. It's just been aged in barrels and it takes on those notes. It takes on those flavors. It takes on those aromas. And that's where you're getting now again that vertical flight. So you start from the bottom and you move to the top, right, per se. And uh, man, this is exciting. And it's something really cool about why I love tequila because most brands do offer a Blanco, Reposado, and Añejo, and you can actually do that. And it's amazing because you taste that progression. What you have here is just rawness, Blanco, right? Just straight out the still bottle. This is the essence of the brand. If you're Blanco solid, 
more than likely your repo and Añejo is going to be pretty good too, right? So as we go through this and drink this, not only are we looking at the taste and the aroma for sure. Let me get these. Actually, no, let me hold it right there. You can see even a progression in the color. This is completely clear, right? Clear, silver, blanco, blank, white, right? This right here is, it's a little bit of a tint. You can't truly see it in the glass as much as you can in the bottles. This right here, the Reposado has a kind of like a straw color to it. Whereas this Añejo, this is really golden in color. And you can see that really close up the differences in what aging and how many months and years uh, this tequila spends in the barrel what it does also then to the color so let me bring those back so cool i highly recommend if you do have the blanco reposado and añejo of a brand do this flight do that vertical flight start with the blanco move over to the repo and with the añejo i'm excited and hopefully santo hear my call Make an extra Añejo. Your product's solid. That XA would be pretty great, too, I would bet. So let's jump right on in. I appreciate you being here with me. And uh, we're going to start with this Blanco. Oh, when I tell... <laughs> it's, it's, been a, it's, it's been a few weeks since I've, since I've actually... Oh, since I've shot the Blanco video and I haven't touched it since. And agave. Agave forward. When I tell you this is what a Blanco should smell like... And even, too, you got a lot of haters out there. Ah, celebrity tequila, this and that. Okay, great. Hey, whatever you're feeling, remove that equation. Let's say this was not a celebrity tequila. That bias isn't there. This Blanco is... Oh, the aroma truly is up there with the best of them. And I'm not just saying that. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. This Blanco is solid in nose and aroma because I love agave. This definitely has an agave forward flavor to it and tasting it. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're getting agave. There's some pepper on there. No ethanol. There's really like minuscule amount of ethanol ethanol being alcohol and that's what we usually refer to as the the burn oh it goes down smooth or it burns that's just ethanol that's the amount of alcohol so these are all 40 uh 40 percent i was about to say 40 proof sorry 80 proof 40 percent but the amount of alcohol and ethanol no this is going down really easy and you're really getting just a lot of agave mm -mm -mm. And that is solid. I do remember, and I may point to point it out in the Añejo video, is that the flavor comes and goes. Great right up front, aroma, flavor, in your face, delicious, but it kind of goes away pretty quickly. And I remember the Reposado being that same way. But taking a sniff of this, it's great because you're still getting, you're still getting agave. There is still agave, and, and a lot of times when we age tequila, and you'll see that if you do a vertical flight, um, the agave starts kind of losing its its aroma, its flavor, its essence due to the barrel aging. Santo is using a lightly charred used American oak barrel, so it's still able to retain some of that agave flavor, and that's delicious. So the Reposado, it is rested. You can tell it's... It doesn't have such a, a, a an impactful agave or bite as the aroma of the Blanco. The agave is still there, but now you're starting to start to turn a little creamier, to be honest. You're getting some of that oak. You're getting some, some notes of, of vanilla, of like caramel. Additive free, though. They're not adding anything to this. It's really just the wood that's imparting those, those aromas and flavors. And uh, let's take a sip. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Not a fan of Reposados across any brand. I do Blanco and Extra Añejo. Añejo as well. But um, this is good. It's definitely good. It just goes away too quickly. The flavors here, you're getting a little bit more wood. You're getting even, it's like, it's like trying to balance that 
that pepper of of like black pepper and the blanco and then kind of like that that reduced pepper and almost non-existent in the añejo um, go watch that video and it's it is this is a clear balance in between hey the blanco or the añejo what would it taste like if you put both of them together you're getting the reposado all right and uh stay tuned i'm leaving the oh yeah, i'm leaving the end of this for a reason all right i love to do this with my vertical flights the añejo though oh yeah in this video go watch that video Ah, the aroma on this, you're really starting, that wood is starting to shine through, but there's still a little bit of that agave. So the Blanco, huge amounts of agave in the nose, the Añejo, it's there, it's an essence of it, but it's supposed to slip away as that wood starts taking hold because that's what we're now looking for in an Añejo is, what is that wood doing to the spirit how is wood a barrel right and in this sense used american oak with a light char how is that barrel affecting this blanco and hats off to the master distillers they're the ones it's kind of like a recipe cooking hey how can we take this blanco and turn it into something delicious through manipulation of wood and barrels and time and and oh man it's amazing i really geek out on this stuff and i appreciate you being here with me so <laughs> To get here more geeky, right? Yeah, this is solid. The wood is there. It's definitely taken over. And now we're even getting aromas of like chocolate, milk chocolate even. Some vanilla, a little hints of vanilla extract. But again, nothing manipulated, no additives. But it's creamy. It's velvety. It's creamy. And this is a solid Añejo. This is what you want your Añejo to smell like for sure. And um, taking a taste of this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. You're still getting a tiny hint of agave, but the creaminess of that wood. And it's like wet. It's like a wet, creamy, chocolatey, milky, velvety bit of dryness on the end though but what they did with this blanco in two years this is definitely it's like a glow up all right <laughs> but i really enjoy this añejo also due to the fact that the blanco and the reposado the flavor didn't last very long it comes and it goes whereas the añejo actually sticks around and i really enjoy that so Man, I appreciate you being here. This is that vertical flight. And what I love doing, and just because I can, any vertical flight I end up doing at the very end, I enjoy saving a little bit. And what I do is I just mix all of them. Why? Because why not, all right? So just like a master distiller blending and, and roasting and checking and timing, like they physically go through these barrels aging, tasting them, you know, month by month, week by week, and just really like, hey, where is it? What does it taste like? All right, it's finally ready. They're the master chef. Hats off, Chef Fieri. I myself, as somebody who loves to cook as well, well, guess what? I love to experiment with my tequilas, mezcal, agave spirits also. And the vertical flight is the perfect time to, hey, at the very end, take the last little bits, mix them all together, see what you get. If anybody has infinity bottles out there, right? You know what I'm talking about. I'll talk about that in another video. But right here, I have basically probably like a quarter ounce, quarter ounce, quarter ounce of all of these in here. And um, man, let's see what this tastes like. Cheers. Salute, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's delicious. <laughs> I didn't even like jump into the aroma. Like I just went full on head first. In the words of Guy Fieri, straight to flavor town, right? Like, oh, that's killer. That is killer. I'm very happy I did that. <laughs> and that's the beauty, like I said, of doing a vertical flight. I do that with all of them. And man, this is... 
this is solid and sitting here right now i'm just thinking you know what how many other brands i have where i have all three of the lineup i think i might start doing a whole bunch of vertical flights where i'm just combining all the flavors all right <laughs> this by doing this the blanco oh you're getting that agave for sure it's really heightened and you can see it's a little bit darker than the reposado but a little lighter than the añejo but it's like you're getting the best of all three worlds what i loved from this was the agave forwardness what i love from this was the barrel and the 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 aging that reduced that ethanol to non-existent right and then that reposado is just basically both of these together and I just added more of that. So it's kind of like a concentrate, right? So boom, I'm chefing right now. I got my recipe. And this right here is the Santo Blanco Repo Añejo Extremo. All right, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe. As well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. That's where I'm ending. Santo Fino Tequila solid month of santo please go watch that añejo standalone review the repo and the blanco stay tuned for the high proof 110 and also mesquita all right take care everybody